by UP Vodka. It is scheduled for three five minute rounds in the RFA light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, standing five foot nine and weighing in 205 pounds, holding a professional MMA record of four wins, two losses. Training out of team execution from Lewiston, Idaho, by way of Spokane, Washington, Jorge, the Lion Cordova. His opponent fighting to my right out of the blue corner, stands at six foot one and weighing in at 205 pounds, holding a professional MMA record of 13 wins, 13 losses. Training with one kick, Nick, and Sergio Penha. Out of Seattle, Washington, Maurice It is an honor and a pleasure to be sitting cage side with Justin McCauley, Jens Palver, calling this fight because Maurice Smith back in 1994 granted a then much younger broadcaster his first interview of a combat sports athlete took place in my hometown of Abbotsford BC Maurice was up from Washington State to support the kickboxing scene and here he is at the age of 50 making his light heavyweight debut and gents I don't know about you but man when I'm 50 if I look a quarter as good as Maurice Smith does physically I'm a I happy was just dude say, in the land of obesity and processed food like most people at 50 to be out here doing this hanging I mean, just the fact he's out there, I, I got goosebumps, I got chills. I mean, I'm proud to see him. He looks good. Amazing, you know? uh, again, just to show the, the what a human being is capable of doing. Here he is at 50 inside the cage against the much younger Jorge Cordoba, who's giving up a ton of experience. And, of course, Maury Smith with Frank the Legend Shamrock in his corner, Ivan Salivari. It's uh, old school here in Cardi, Nebraska. Oh, this, this is ridiculous. I'm loving it, you know. I can't, I can't deny it. I do have a, a nervous stomach too. I got butterflies. Maury Smith in 1997 told me two things. Taught me how to kick. I love this man. I got a lot of respect for this man. But this guy in front of him is no slouch. He's got his work cut out for him tonight. And we know at 50 years old, how much does he have in the tank? I was going to say the Cordoba family's probably switching off the feet here with all of the ones. But I mean, it is a moment and, and nothing against Maury Cordoba who has a chance here to defeat, uh, you know, a mixed martial arts trailblazer. And prove that maybe at 50 you shouldn't be in the cage. Like you said, Justin, it's, it's a question here. 100%. Cordoba yesterday was thinking this is a chance of a lifetime. I cannot wait to get in there with Maury Smith. This is my, my make it time. You know, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to shock the world. I'm going to beat Maury Smith. And I was, I, I got it. I had to give him respect for it. I'll tell you what I like about Maurice right now. He's, he's calm. He's just sitting back. His eyes are open. He's reacting. Look at the way he's reacting. Guy's windmilling. He's getting out of the way. You know what? Very patient, right? Things. Very composed. And I'm telling you, it looks, it looks good for the age. The hell with that. No bad injuries. I, man, get in it. We ought to, you know what? It just leads me back to we need to have a master's division. I agree. I don't know, above. in this sport, though, you guys, seriously, I understand it's cool to see this, but it is a, a very physically demanding sport, and I don't know how many Maury Smiths, you how many Dan Severns, how hey, many Kevin. It's a new Randy day with new diet. Well, People are already true, showing you. True, true. guy, like I said, you go get me the guy 20 years ago, that 50, he ain't Absolutely looking like that. No he way. ain't bouncing around. Or Frank, Randy Couture. Abs- yeah. Yeah, or a Frank Shamrock. It's ridiculous. Pat Militich. Militich, Come on. another one. No, you're right. There, there are a lot of athletes, changed, but they're right? special guys. And Frank Shamrock yelling out instructions here. Cage yeah, side. Boy. Smith now Sorry. clinching, backing Cordoba up to the fence. No matter how old Maury Smith is, he will always be a warrior. He'll always crave the the thirst quenching action. That action you can only get inside a cage. Well, and you know, a lot of people came to the sport thanks to the Ultimate Fighter. A lot of people feel that MMA started in 2005. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's been around a lot longer <laughs> thanks, than yeah. that. Thanks, bro. I made my debut in 97, and it didn't <laughs> well, start until you know 2005. So all that's, that's a watch. That's what I'm saying, though. No, I understand. The fact that there are so many people who helped with the blood, sweat, and tears to, to pave the way for the great sport that we enjoy today. Maury Smith is one of them, but right now, Cordoba... With the hip toss. Look at this. And Smith looking now going to full mount. Good positioning. See, I like I like this calm, relaxed Maurice. I like the style. You know what I mean? He's getting hips. That's one thing I love Good about elbows. this promotion. I love about Wayne Harriman is who else is gonna give Maurice Smith a shot at fifty years old? Who's gonna bring him in here and allow him to do his thing? I don't think anybody was going hey, to. You More pass the physical it's yours. And the fact that he is not at all embarrassing himself thus far. He's, you know, controlling the fight and showing the hey! patience. He's got Frank Shamrock in his corner. 
That's what's tripping me out the most. Look at he's fired up. He's even got the the, the commission coming over there. Calm down, Frank. But like I said, yeah, Maurice uh, is doing Nebraska a great job. He's very heavy. He's wearing this guy down. You know. Yep. In last minute of the opening round, Smith working from the half guard of Cordoba. Oh, yeah, oh a slashing elbow strike. Cordoba really has to get something going here. He's got to move oh. his hips. He's got to turn his hips inside. He's got to bump him, shuck him, do something to gain a little bit of space just so he can reestablish his position. If he stays there, he's in for a long night. You know, Maurice Smith invited to the first K-1 World Grand Prix in 93. Won his first match, defeating Toshiyuki Atokawa. In the semifinals, he met uh, the Hall of Fame kickboxer Ernesto Host. <laughs> Mr. Perfect. And I've had a chance to, to call some Muay Thai with Ernesto. I mean, it's just so many great luminaries in this sport. And here in the final few seconds of the opening round, 50-year-old Maury Smith has uh, looked very good against Jorge Cordoba. Hey, he did a lot of great control. Here's the other thing. Look at this. That was anaerobically. He just spent that whole time in the second round with that fight. How hard is he breathing? Uh, Cordoba not. got up and went to the wrong corner. Mo's okay. He looks like he's walking he's and breathing and he's recovering. Got, he's doing a great job. He's doing a great job of staying relaxed. Here we go to the replay here. Cordoba trying to get a takedown attempt here on Maurice. Maurice with the wizard and the counter. He's rolling over on top here into the mount shortly. And then he wouldn't leave this position. He would sustain this position for the rest of the round. And really, I mean, this was just a great round for Maurice Smith. And Maurice Smith said uh, prior to the fight, it's a win-win for him. He says uh, about his opponent, for him, if he beats me, he beats an old man. If he loses to me, he loses to an old man. man. So win-win for me, bad for him. And uh, at this time, I uh, want to again tell you, you want to hear the story of Maurice Smith and what he's meant to the sport in his journey. One of the best interviewers in MMA, a part of the Sure Dog Radio Network, Jack and Carnassial, this past Sunday on the Sunday sit-down. Talk to Maury Smith in depth, so when you get a chance, go and listen to that interview as we come to you from the Viero uh, Center here in Carney, Nebraska on SureDog.com. Maura Ranello along with Jens Palver, Justin McCauley. Round two underway in this light heavyweight matchup, the debut at light heavyweight for Maury Smith. And Cordova came right after him. He's not wasting any time here. He said, you know what, I don't like the way that last round went. I'm going to put some pressure on you, Mo. But Mo, I mean, I've seen Mo take damage. My first experience with Maury Smith was a match he had with Alex Desir, the Venezuelan volcano. I watched Alex Desir beat up Maury Smith for five rounds. I thought, oh my God, it's a horrible you mismatch. See how he froze him? That one kick he hit him with has now has frozen him. Maurice is able to get shots off again. This guy was just charged with windmilling. Now he's going to have to kick him again and kind of, all right, stop, young man. You know what I mean? But Knee from Smith along the fence as Cordoba pins him there, but you're right, Cordoba looking to get a lot more aggressive here in round two. That one kick changed his tone, man. It changed the music for a minute. Maury Smith came back to beat Alex Desir by a knockout in the sixth round, despite having been oh. lumped up horribly for five rounds. Bob. And that's where I really started to believe in Maury Smith. That's where I knew oh. no matter how how bad he looks in there, he could be playing possum with you. He can come back and strike you from any angle. He can lull you to sleep, like Jen said, and then he can explode on you. Well, he's, he's marking up the face of Cordoba, popped his head back like a Pez dispenser momentary, or earlier, and just really in control here. Three minutes, 30 seconds See, that up. kick has him scared. He had the feet. He just all but straight leg and Oh, that jumping. jab again sticks. Because he's so worried about that kick coming, you know. Maurice has done a great job with that. Now he's able to. Now he's really starting to freak this guy out and pinpoint. See oh. inside leg kick from the kickboxing specialist. He's really specialist. doing a good jab. I mean, oh, oh right hand oh. hooks him. The right kick to I'm the lead leg. Noises. I'm grunting. Maurice Smith looks unbelievably good here tonight. He does not look his age. He looks like a smooth young champion. He looks like the old Maurice Smith. I lo- like I said, it, it's vintage calm Maury and composure. Smith. Vintage Maury the Smith calm and composure he's throwing. Look Body at that. Kick. It's ridiculous. He's hacks on this kid up. He's really beginning to do a number on Cordova's face, battering him, blooding his face up, and still very patient, very methodical. Two minute forty seconds left in the second round. Cordova, Cordova had a He's leg so kick attempt scared. there, yeah. and, he, and he missed. And you could tell Maurice looked at him like, "Come on, man, you got better Look, than that." Even when he's throwing jabs, he's jumping, flinching leg kicks because he just thinks they're coming. That's that's the way to do it. Jab. Look, he's going to eat shots to the face rather than take yeah, a leg Cordova's kick. He's not going to stop. Very looking. low. He's not. This respecting. was a windmill and coming forward guy. The last two rounds, 
Look at him. Does not want those kicks. And it's that's the level of experience. That's when it's you can see the, the oh, class. Right and a left by Smith. Just beginning to paste Cordoba along the fence. Yeah, that, this is getting bad. The experience level here is really starting to take over. One of them's trying to do things, and the other one's body is just reacting naturally. Oh, and there's that them. front kick. A la Anderson Silva, Leona Magina backing up Cordoba. Well, Maurice Smith backed up there to dry his foot oh, off, too. And he continues to just stick that left jab. See, and then when he comes... And now Cordoba coming forward. The tie plumb by Smith looking for the knee. Now working the overhook, controlling the left arm of Cordoba, feeding him now a couple of quick right hands and just putting his weight on top of Cordoba along the fence. And Cordoba backs off. It was a great uh, great takedown defense by Maury Smith. We know he's got he's great takedown defense. He's got his range, and now it's just pick Oh, just picking him off. Oh, that's a nasty cut over the left eye he just opened up. And there's the left and a right kick, the punch kick combination again. 50-year-old Maury Smith in the final minute, four seconds of the second round. And the proof is in that proverbial pudding. Look at the face of Jorge Cordova. I feel Fair. like I'm watching a Rocky movie right now. Yeah, it's crazy. And that's one thing. I mean, the composure and just to be able to watch for three rounds the way he just broke him down to how bad he's flinching, bleeding, scared to death, eating jabs in the head because he wants to make sure he's paying attention when a leg kick's thrown because he doesn't want to take one. And Smith again, very patient, backs up to the center of the cage, wants Cordoba to come to him. Cordoba has definitely tasted the striking expertise of Maury Smith. Now comes forward, Smith again with the, the tie plum, and there's a knee right up the middle, and another knee with the oh. other leg. A hat trick of knee strikes from Maury Smith in the final 20 seconds of the second round. One thing nobody could ever question is Cordoba's heart. No, he is no, in well, there. not at all. I mean, he is in and that apologies fight. apologies to Cordoba when he watches this. It's just, you're not this guy that you've watched for a long time. And he did have game. Cordoba's and done it's a great not, job. You know, and you're right. We fighting. can get caught up in the storyline of the 50-year-old Maury Smith, but he's actually doing what he's supposed to be doing yep. and marking up a very game and valiant Jorge Cordoba. To watch but, the breakdown was amazing. I mean, I, I'm loving to watch... I mean, you go back, you see this energetic guy throwing bombs, not fearing nothing, and then watch the way he is picking him apart. You know, like, for example, right here, look, he's walking him down. It's target practice at this point. He's able to throw one at a time, but they're straight, they're solid, they're hard jabs, and he's killing him because he's so worried that leg. Look at that. He made sure he's there to watch that leg kick. And that's what happens when you literally break a guy down, all that flinching, boom. Maurice Smith, a great still job. very he's technical. Picking his shots so well. Now he's got him broken down. He's comfortable. He's right. seeing everything. His vision's clear. He's back. Maurice Smith is back. I could see him probably going two, three, four, five more fights maybe even down the road. Really? Are you amazed you know that he's doing it at 205 pounds for the first time in his career? You know what? He's getting bigger. He's gotten smaller. He stayed healthy. Like I said, I'll go find you 85% of the 50-year-olds out here <laughs> that are swearing just to get some kind of water, some kind of medicine thrown into them, eating every processed food they can and just destroy. Give this man credit. I don't want to hear anybody go, oh, nah, man, wait till you 50, see what you're doing. You know what I mean? And that's why my respect for him. There's Cordoba being uh, tended to by the uh, cut man here, making sure they stop the bleeding. Venezuelan vixen Juliana Pena in his corner as well, helping him wipe his uh, face there, the towels, putting in the uh, mouthpiece. Again, she's a female mixed martial artist to keep your eye on as well. We saw Terra La Rosa pick up a win here earlier. At no point has Cordova ever once said, hey, I'm quitting. Not at all. I, I don't, should I be in here? It's got no. heart. Hey, hey, you're just a one hey, Look punch. at him. He's having a good time. There look. you go. You're a punch away. He said, you're this a... is why we fight. Absolutely. That's what he said. Stop. I love this guy. I'm a How new can fan you of Cordova. All looking at him, loving it. Both of them touch clubs. Third and final round of this light heavyweight tilt here at RFA 2. In Cardi, Nebraska on SureDog.com and a going backwards, Smith is still striking Cordoba. An RFA baptism under fire, if you will. These guys are getting after it. Right Strong now we got a scramble. Oh, and and we're the first gonna time. Some guard Maurice here, right? First time Cordoba Let's finds see himself in a good position. Now we're late in the fight, though. Yeah. Is this is is this a bad situation now for Maurice Smith? Have Cordova we given him too much credit? Grass. You know what I mean? He's got the guy. Well, he he's scrambled back to his feet, and there's the knee by he's Smith. Just breaking, is he too broken? And I'm gonna have to go. Yes, yeah, so far. Maurice Smith is just covered in Cordoba's blood right now. These guys are soaking. See, the thing that I like though is he's so relaxed. He's right now, and I don't want to jinx. So I may just shut up for a minute, but he's seeing everything right now. 
and it's he's seeing all the punches, he's seeing all the moves, and that's tough. How is Cordova, who's also getting tired, going to be able to break through that? One minute gone I mean? here in the final round. Cordova now just standing still and kind of leaning his head into the left hands. Oh, he's from taking Smith. deep breaths. Taking deep breaths. Smith wants him to engage. Oh boy! Catches him with a straight right, just picking him apart. And right now, Cordoba's face looks like it was put together like a ransom note. And there, oh, the knee and the straight right, just still the fluidity. There's another knee and a couple of pop, pop right hands by Smith. There another knee, just oh. mixing it up, showing the diversity of his Ridiculous. striking attack. I, you know what, Cordova, dude. Hands down, one of the toughest men I've ever looked at. He, Bobby Hoffman, tough man. He ain't trying to go nowhere. He's trying to just sit there, you know. Oh, he hates life. He's going to hate the locker room come morning time, but, you know. I think Maurice Smith could probably put in a little bit more effort here. Then. Oh, there it is. Oh, the oh, highlight reel. Hoffman. Head kick knockout. Mamma mia. Maurice Smith has done it at 50 in his light heavyweight debut. You wanted him to put a little more into it. There he just adds another highlight to his illustrious career. Maurice Smith closes the show in his light heavyweight debut at the age of 50. Took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, I was about to say it looks like if he went a little bit high here with a kick or something, he'd be able to take him out if he put a little more into it. And there it was. Right head kick knockout embracing with Frank the legend Shamrock an amazing moment here fans on their feet yelling out encouragement take us through this Justin well here you go you see Maurice Smith closing down with that straight right hand for, hey, he's, 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 Jorge stepped off to that Jorge angle never to get out of there you so never bad. want to step yeah. off to that angle with your hands down and your face flat on a squared up angle he didn't have a shoulder turn he was wide as could be and Maurice Smith exposed him horribly. Again, no. Hands off 